Shalom. Uh, I want us to pray for the insight that the Holy Spirit showed me where, where I was taken. Uh, this is what the Lord said. Uh, the time for the president, I don't know if he's a president or a prime minister for Kim Jong for salvation it is drawn near. But however, the enemy intends to cause uh, besides him the leadership as well to uh, attack people in a certain way i really wouldn't know how to put it the way i saw i can't say civil war but i saw like soldiers beating a lot of civilians beating up a lot of civilians and stuff but i'm seeing the his leadership meaning to say like the military doing that citizens that are trying to move from point a to point b I see them like a being held, like to say, be in one place. You are not allowed to move. That's how I saw the vision. But however, I saw that when we, if we pray, this may will preserve the lives of many. The people that are going to be attacked through this whole exercise. So I want us to begin to pray before it actually begins, when it when it's happening, we would have already covered uh, the citizens and the nation with the blood of Jesus, including the leaders as well. Despite that the enemy is trying to use them in a negative sense, but also when we declare the positive energy over them, the Lord will do it for them. Uh, please take note that these prophecies are very, very important. Uh, we need to pray when we hear these prophecies it's not like a broadcasting network where we just give news no we hear and then we pray remember before like from last year to the beginning of the year i've been saying in southern africa i see a lot of uh, ministers cabinet ministers like people in the government passing on like politicians basically passing on passing on so when I say Southern Africa, I'm talking about a region, not South Africa alone, but Zimbabwe, uh, all these countries that fall under SADC. I see a lot of them uh, passing. And if you can look at the news already, I think they've already buried close to 10 from the moment of prophecy. We can still pray for them to be saved. We can still pray for them to be preserved. So there's a lot going on in the spirit and also we need to keep praying for our leadership or our governments uh, to take proper precaution when it comes to this covid thing uh, the anti dot for it the vaccine let them make their own vaccines let them use their natural plants instead of accepting things that are coming from the very place where this virus came from. Come up with your own plants that can cure people. Come up with your own items instead of you yielding yourself to, to a trick that the enemy is trying to use to manipulate people and destroy human beings. So us as human beings, us as the sons of God, us as the body of Christ, we are being called to pray and intercede for our leaders so that they take sound decisions, so that they take proper decisions that will preserve generations to come, that will also preserve their nations, because in the long run, it will turn against their decisions. However, they don't see it now. If you go and take a look at the previous prophecy I gave in 2016, where I saw China coming to these African countries, fighting most of them, fighting most of them for now they can still try to use technology and tricks but it will get to a point where they cannot hide it anymore they will have to fight so remember uh, we are not when we say china we're not speaking about the chinese but we are speaking about the people that are influenced by certain energies that are negative that are contrary to god's power chinese are good people uh, everyone is, a, is, is basically a good person, but those that yield to certain realms are the people that we are talking about, that they need to be prayed for, they need to be delivered. We also need to pray for our leaders to take sound decisions pertaining 
uh, this vaccine and pertaining the investments that the Chinese will want to bring to Africa. So may God increase you and protect you. Shalom.